Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be about drugstore products. These are my favorite drugstore products. Out of all the products that I have, um, drugstore is one of those ones that is just really cheap, easy, and affordable. And when you run out of something, it's just really easy to go into the store and get some drugstore brands. So while I don't talk a lot about drugstore brands in my videos, unless it's like a favorites kind of thing, today this video is going to be all about drugstore brands. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be talking to you about is foundation. Now my foundation and from the drugstore I had the hardest time finding it and when I did find a foundation that I absolutely loved they discontinued my color but anyway I'm still gonna present it in this video who knows maybe they'll bring it back or maybe they'll change the formulation of it or something who knows but it's the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and it says for truer fresher color and um, my, it has SPF 15 in it which you can't beat that and I was in the color 520 which is natural caramel and I absolutely loved 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 this foundation um, I still love it I think it's just a great foundation um, I should have stocked up on it when I had the chance and I didn't do that but I absolutely love it um, it's not a pump or anything like that you just go in the bottle and you just get out what you need of it um, for your skin but it applies like a dream and um, the best thing about it is it does have the SPF 15. They do have this in lighter shades and darker shades. In my area anyway, they don't have it anymore. I have not went to the Rimmel website to find out if it's something that um, they just stopped carrying in my area. I don't know, but I get the feeling that it's gone because in every store I go in in my town or surrounding area, I do not see the 520 Natural Caramel. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk to you about, in the morning time when I get ready, I put on my foundation and I put on my lip balm. So I'm going to talk to you about two lip balms that I have, and these are, again, drugstore brand. Everything is drugstore today. And it's from the EOS, and I absolutely love them. This, these lip balms. Um, I have, I got a little value pack of them that had the strawberry, the green one in it, and the blue one. And this is the strawberry one here. And I also have um, the vanilla smelling one, the one that smells like cake as well. But I absolutely love these. If you have dry lip, dry chapped lips, then I would definitely recommend these. Um, I have these laying all around my house, in my car. I just absolutely love these. And another thing I would tell you to buy are the Maybelline Lip Butters. I'm sorry, not lip butters, that's Revlon. But the are the baby lips. Now this one I have is in... Um, peppermint and this is my favorite favorite one of all the lip balms I've ever tried this one they're just so moisturizing they're so soft to the lips um, I mean they just make your lips feel so soft and luscious and I absolutely love 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 these um, I have these basically in all the colors that they came out with because they do have a, like a little tint to them if you haven't if you're not familiar with them um, but I absolutely love these. I have them in all different colors, and they are just really great. I normally get mine at Target as opposed to the um, to the drugstore because I find out that at the drugstore they cost a lot more. But at Target, I think you can get them for about two ninety nine, which is a really really great deal. Okay, so um, the next thing that I normally do in the morning time is I do my eyes right after I do my foundation. So I'm going to be talking to you today about four different type of palettes that I got from the drugstore. Um, three of them are by the same company and one it just stands out alone for me and I've mentioned it in a favorites. The first one I'm going to be talking to you about is the Comfort Zone and this is from Wet n Wild. Now I've had this palette for a while. Um, maybe even going on a year now but these eyeshadows are awesome and you get um, what is this this is eight yeah you get eight eyeshadows in this and look at these colors and one thing I can definitely say about wet and wild all of their colors are really really pigmented when I was in high school I used to use wet and wild and you know wet and wild was one of those hit and miss things um, at that time stage you know you could get some pretty lipsticks you might be able to get some okay fingernail polishes or whatever but the eyeshadows they were okay they weren't the best but they were affordable they were definitely affordable for high school students for co you know college kids you know 
and you know they were just perfect for if you just wanted something that it wasn't going to last all day but now with these colors and the formulation and then just going in and changing up these colors are amazing the payoff is really really great they last all day they're not chalky like they used to be look at that one right really really pretty you know these colors sorry Ugh. wet and wild used to be one of those brands i think that a lot of people just was like oh wet and wild like what's so special about this but they've really changed their formulation their shadows are nice sticky i mean look at that pigmentation look at that payoff in that that is beautiful and you still are picking up the shimmers in it too i absolutely would definitely suggest that you give these wet and wild um this is a color icon but i mean the colors are amazing in these the next one i have is also by um wet and wild this is one that i used the crap out of um that it, vanity is this one now this is what i used the crap out of because i was really loving this brown color here that kind of lighter brown color i was using that basically for my natural skin tone color even though it's pretty much not the same it's it's lighter than my skin tone but I was just using that really just to blend out my shadows and it worked pretty nicely but the thing I love about this palette is you have your shimmers on one side and you actually have your mattes on the other side so you can decide whether you want all shimmer or all matte they also had a different one I believe um, they have more plum colors in it but as you can see, you can do matte on this side or you can do a shimmery on this side. So I like this palette because it was really versatile. Um, so you could do that. You know, you could actually go through here and pick out which ones you wanted to use. Whether you needed a matte, you know, whether you wanted to go matte in the crease or you wanted to do a shimmer or something like that. So this kit definitely gave you options. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is um, one of their quads. Wet n Wild has quads and I know you've seen these on probably everyone's videos. This one is walking on eggshells. This was one I just grabbed really quickly because I have a ton of these. Um, but again really really pretty colors. Definitely a great payoff I think. I would definitely recommend Wet n Wild to anyone that's just starting out in makeup, wants to learn a lot about makeup. Um, the professional makeup artists could use these. I mean, they're just really great. If you travel a lot, then Wet n Wild is definitely for you. Because these, I mean, look at these compacts are so small that you can just drop them in your bag. They're not going to take up too much room in your makeup collection. And they're just really, really small. They're cheap and they're affordable. So I definitely love that about Wet n Wild's products. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk to you about... Um, still going with the eyes is another quad that I found. Um, this one is the um, Rimmel London. This is that quad. And again, this is one that I love. This is one I go to for every day pretty much. And that's why it looks so crusty. <laughs> but this is in Smoky Brun. And I absolutely love this quad. I've been using this quad basically forever. Um, this is the only quad that I was actually using before I got my new tube palette. Um, because I just love the colors. You get four very versatile colors in here. You get a light color um, here. You get just one of those a little bit warmer. Then you get a warmer color than that. And then you get your darker color there. So this quad is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely a, the perfect quad if you're getting married. Lots of weddings coming up. This would be one of those ones that you could definitely go to for just a nice soft look. Or you could make it more dramatic if you're having an evening wedding. But I absolutely love this quad. Um, i got something on my fingers. But this is the what I think is a prime example of um, some of the neat quads that different companies have definitely come out with. Okay, so the next thing I do is I put, apply my blush. And the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes, I am in love with these. If you haven't seen these, then you guys are really missing out if you had definitely if you haven't tried them um this one i have is in peach satin and i have it on today peach satin for me just gives me just like a little flushed look you know when your cheeks are just a little bit rosy and the rest of your skin is flushed after you've been running that's the kind of look that this one gives me and i absolutely love it it's just a really really natural glow for me 
and I love it. So I would definitely tell you to pick up the Maybelline Dream Bouncy blushes because they are amazing. They have a variety variety of different colors and shades that I think that anyone would be able to benefit from. Okay, so the next two things I'm going to talk to you about are Revlon. And these are the, I think I just got something all over my makeup. These are the Revlon Lip Butters. And these came out, I want to say, last year sometime. But I know a lot of people had problems finding them and and so forth but if you do happen to get your hands on these you cannot go wrong with any of the Revlon lip butters really great products great color payoff I have them on one of them on today I actually have on the berry smoothies on my lips today absolutely love these guys really smooth moisturizing to the lips if you don't like lipstick then I would definitely recommend either the baby lips or the Revlon lip butters because they have they do have color with them and so it's basically like you're wearing a lipstick but it's not heavy as a lipstick so those are two I would definitely um, two brands I would definitely pick up baby lips and the Revlon lip butters for nail polishes if we're going with the drugstore I know you have Sally Hansen and there's some other brands that are coming onto the scene now um, but I go back again to Wet n Wild Wet n Wild has amazing amazing colors they have a raw raw you know color spectrum if you're looking for nail polishes and I absolutely love them this one I have is a mega last one from Wet n Wild it's in the color heat wave I absolutely love it um, they last really a really long time this is a newer product that they came out with so I would definitely tell you to try that if you're looking for nail polish um, and then for mascara I'm not a big drugstore I'm a mascara kind of person so when I do get some mascara I really you know I don't know too much about drugstore mascaras but the one that I've been using ever since I was in high school um, if it was drugstore was the Great Lash by Maybelline and I just has stuck with it for all these years so I just use this one the color that I had this one in it's in dark brown I have it on my eyes today um, and I just like using it it has like a spoolie kind of wand there it's nothing really special you know it's just pretty much like any other mascara wand um so yeah um so that is my drugstore products for you guys sorry the video was a little bit long but i wanted to show you everything that i use from the drugstore because i know you know with different brands and so forth i really don't talk about my drugstore stuff that often and i don't talk about my drugstore finds because i don't do too many haul videos but if the haul videos are something that you would like to see, please leave a comment down below and let me know that you like haul videos. Um, I need you guys to help to help me with some upcoming videos. So if you could just let me know like what kind of stuff you would like to see, that would be very helpful. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.